Hi guys, I'm doing two videos today, in fact, in the same sitting, because I want to tell you what I'm going to be covering for Steven Bomb 4. Because my normal coverage isn't going to be working on Steven Bomb 4. In fact, these... You see, I have tennis and theater going on on Tuesday and Thursday, so those episodes will, will probably be reviewed late for my channel. And... So, what about Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? I'll be doing those covered the traditional way. So, yeah. What else does this have in plan? Well, Friday, I think. So, Friday, I'm going to do the Stephen Bomb 4 final episode coverage. And then, I am hoping to get a group of YouTubers together to do... A major, major, or a minor Steven Universe live stream. And by the end of this year, I want for at least three big Steven Universe YouTube live streams. I'm telling any Steven Universe fan on YouTube to come to my channel. Because I will be doing a large, large, like a 10 person live stream at most. On Google Hangouts. This will be one of my biggest YouTube events yet. And bring your questions, bring your enjoyment. Because this event is going to be going on. After that, my channel's coverage will continue with the Steven Universe episodes every week as they come out. And eventually, I want also to be doing a Gravity Falls live stream with a group of YouTubers that could sign up if they want. I've done plenty of Gravity Falls live streams in the past. If you ever go to the Universal News Show channel, I have done a lot there. I'm, I was a recurring member on UNS and Friends. I recommend you check that channel out. It's great. But, so Gravity Falls is ending rather shortly. It will end on Valentine's Day, to be exact. Thanks to the leaks. And when this happens, I'll be covering... I'll be having a week of Gravity Falls leading up to it. I am going to review various episodes of the show in this format more. It will not be like Not What He Seems, which I'm going to be replacing. Several of my videos for both Gravity Falls and Steven Universe are going to be put into an outdated playlist. One thing with my channel is it's a lot more of a time capsule than it is for me then it is just me putting stuff out. As you probably will notice, it shows how much I have changed voice-wise and personality-wise. So with that, I am very proud to announce some of my newest plans for the channel. And I will announce also that The Simpsons Season 26 review is on hold. I have another project I am working on called Cartoon Executioner, which I have no planned release date, but this is what I need. While my I will review for you project failed because, well, I don't really want to do things other critics have covered so well. I'm not going to be reviewing Food Fight, at least, for a little while, because I've seen part of it and it is unwatchable. I will eventually cover it once I have become stronger at reviewing. I, alongside Food Bite, Food, <coughs> I call it Food Bite, um, alongside Food Fight, I will not be reviewing either of the animated Titanic movies until later, nor with Santa Colino. I will say right now that in this new Cartoon Executioner series, I know three things I am going to cover, and I will reveal 
that the very first episode of this series will be covering the first episode of a terrible show known as My Life Me, for being one of the most in uncomprehendable pieces of television garbage I have ever seen. Alongside this, I will be reviewing, in this series, various Teen Titans Go episodes. Of course, I have made a rule for myself with that too. Until later on, nothing that Mr. Enter or Pie Guy rule, no, Mr. Enter covered for Teen Titans Go will I review. In fact, I have already determined my first Teen Titans Go episode that will be part of Cartoon Executioner. And let's just say it's Return to Slade's follow up. However, this is not going to be my only project that I have. I have so many things going on, so many projects and ideas in my head. But I think Cartoon Executioner is going to be my kick starting YouTube thing. It is a meant to be nostalgia criticish format at about a person who doesn't know quality and is suddenly given the task to quality judge the whole world of animation. And I think I can make a ton of jokes with that, aside from the character being ignorant. Like, for example, I don't think, but I am very proud of what I think this series will become. I don't think it'll become the next Nostalgia Critic, but I think it'll become big, hopefully. So, I have a lot of stuff I am working on, and videos are gonna still be happening. I mean, my format is great for videos. I can put out tons of videos as much as I like, but because of how simple it is. See, this video right here is just me talking to a nice little webcam. Webcams don't bite, do they? <laughs> but so, I'm hoping you enjoy my return to YouTube. Because 2016, I have goals. I have big goals. I want to get to 100 subscribers by the end of this year, and get to 15,000 views. Now, alongside all those content that I've already announced, I am also going to be talking about some of Veilski Bum's worst theories. And don't get me wrong, I don't hate the guy, it's just, I've been seeing a lot of theories of his that aren't doing too well. And so I think I'll have to return him a visit. So, what else do I have in plan? I want to start introducing more vlog series to my channel. See, Universe and Gravity Falls are all that I have been covering. However, I have other ones. I want to start doing anime vlogs of shows as I watch through them, Doug Walker style. These videos are going to be the same style of my regular content. Bare bones editing. Alongside that, as you noticed, I have started this new preview series. I want to talk about movies before they come out and judge them based on their trailers and other such things. This judgment will, will be big. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today, and have a great time. This video should be coming out on Sunday. Thank you.